the most anticipated Wizarding World RPG of all times is just around the corner. Hogwarts Legacy has entranced Wizarding World fans and gamers alike with its massive open world, combat mechanics, attention to the lore, and much, much more. Although the game is not perfect, it has seemed to fit the bill for what most Wizarding World fans ever wanted. It is no wonder it is well on its way to becoming the 2023 game of the year. But what makes Hogwarts Legacy so good? Let's dive in everything there is to know in Hogwarts Legacy so far. Welcome to the Ori Division. I am your host Sly and I'm ready to unveil more Hogwarts Legacy secrets. The main game is set in the 1890s, when for some unusual reason, we, the player, are invited to attend Hogwarts as a fifth year student. While at Hogwarts, the Ministry of Magic and our professors provide us with a field page guidebook designed to have us catch up to our fellow fifth year peers. Why? Well, because we are the chosen one. Yep, we're awesome. We can kill, disintegrate, and turn our enemies into chicken. Okay, okay, let's back up a bit. Apparently, we possess a super powerful ability known as Ancient Magic, an extremely powerful branch of magic that had been forgotten from the Wizarding World since Merlin's time. Its wielder is said to be able to control the very fabrics of nature and reality as this magic comes in its purest form, from the very essence of the world or the very fabric of existence. My theory is that we're either muggle-born and protected by the Ministry of Magic, or protected by an order, or we are part of a Wizarding World family that has protected us from the outside world because we inherited this ancient power hereditarily. Either way, eventually we are found out by Renrock, the big baddie goblin who has learned about us and wants to use our power as a weapon in his war against the Wizarding World. In the process, Renrock kills our parents or protectors, that's why we can't see Testrals, but somehow we escaped with the help of the Ministry or through the help of the Order. Professor Fig, in my opinion, was one of these secret watchers or protectors. We are then sent to Hogwarts to learn more about witchcraft and wizardry to be able to protect ourselves as well as to advance the interests of Professor Fig and or the Ministry. Professor Fig's background in astronomy or ancient runes, yep, yeah, I think he's either our astronomy or ancient runes professor, it is through this quest that we learn more about ancient magic, about Merlin, the most powerful ancient magic user, and we're off to the races. Our choices throughout the game will mold our character into a good or evil persona and will no doubt determine the success of this very probable war. This game is absolutely massive, thorough, lore respecting, and incredibly playable. The developers of the Avalanche Software Studios have gone above and beyond to bring us a world we love so much and care for in crazy detail. There has been so much hype and expectation around this game because of the amazing work done by the Avalanche team. This journey has been amazing and this community has grown considerably large to spread the admiration we have for this world. But there's a lot more coming in January and beyond. I'll be doing some Let's Play warm-ups with the classic games while providing content as they get released. Which I can only assume it'll be a lot. Also my fellow Aurors, if you haven't yet liked, subscribed, and stupefied the bell notification button, stop being a muggle and go do that now. You can also find us on Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and Facebook, where we discuss everything Wizarding World. More content this way comes, my fellow Aurors, and until then, Mischief Managed.